last question for, for you, uh, Dr. Robinson. With the testing that NOAA has done on the, uh, on the issue of dispersants um, in the seafood, have you detected uh, anything that is, is, is noticeable or reportable um, in the seafood that you've been testing? Uh, we, our, our seafood tests are for all, and, and as well as dispersed oil, our protocols are, are not specifically looking at dispersants or the byproducts of dispersants themselves. That's are not, you intending to do that? I, I think that would be a, an excellent thing for us to consider as we've learned from this situation that there are other potentials here, perhaps even for bioaccumulation of dispersants and their byproducts into uh, seafood. So that's something we, we have on our list of things that we would like to know about, more about. Uh, is, is FDA testing this? You know, we were talking earlier about the FDA role with the states um, in those areas three miles uh, within our shores. Are they testing for dispersants? I, I don't think that, that the protocols presently call for the testing of seafood with regard to seafood safety for dispersants or dispersants by products is really the oil that we're in the oil byproducts that we're looking for in seafood at the moment. So how can we give the consumer the assurance, the consumer the assurance that the seafood that, uh, that is coming from the Gulf in these waters uh, is, is safe for consumption? The, the evidence that we presently have is that the dispersants are broken down rather quickly and biograde, biodegrade rather quickly. We don't know with absolute certainty, Senator, that there are no uh, traces of dispersants in, in seafood. Our test, however, looking at the more toxic agents in seafood, focused on the oil and the oil byproducts. Well, I, I understand that, but it seems to me that we've got an, we've got an issue here where we're not, we're not certain. I mean, the, the administrator was not able to, 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 to tell me with certainty whether or not uh, we, we considered uh, this, these dispersants as pollutants, if they get into um, into that that food chain at whatever level, are we testing for this? It sounds like at this point in time, no. We're looking for the oil products on the fish. That's one thing, most certainly. But it would seem to me that as we do the research on the effectiveness of these dispersants and the trade-off, you have to consider the impact to to our fisheries. Uh, to, to mariculture as a whole um, when we're looking at this. And I, I want to be able to give a level of assurance to people that whether you are, you are eating wild Alaska salmon from, from uh, Prince William Sound or whether you're eating it from, taking it from the Gulf, that the dispersants have not had an impact on the safety of that. And so if we are not testing for that, I would certainly hope that we be doing that now, yesterday. Um, that that is something, again, a level of assurance that we need to be able to provide the consumer um, and give them that, that certainty that these dispersants, um, even though, yep, the, the, the purpose of them is to, to disperse the oil quickly. If, 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 if we've dis dispersed the oil but we've replaced it with uh, another substance that uh, has, has toxicity levels that impact that, that uh, that seafood, um, that's something that we all need to be concerned about. Administrator? Thank you, Senator. I, I did want to follow up on your point because you're right. I, I, uh, the, the, what, what we have done uh, is we've shared the formulations of the dispersant, although they're confidential business information, the manufacturer has made sure we share that with FDA and NOAA, uh, as well as the state of Louisiana and other states who've asked for it so that they can look uh, at their own testing. We're testing water and sediment. But one other thing we've done is look at uh, the bioaccumulation potential of all the constituents uh, that are in the uh, uh, dispersants. So